from Charmin to the show. Welcome on. Let's try to understand this. You were marching along smartly. Everything's fine. Used to work out every day, right? Yep. And then all of a sudden, one morning, you wake up and you thought, hmm, that's strange, right? Yep. You look in the mirror and you said, I wonder. <laughs> And that song, I think my butt get big. No. <laughs> exactly. That was exactly what I said, too. What happened? Right in. So what happened? Pretty much. Um, I was a size two. I worked out with a fitness trainer five nights a week. I did yoga. I was a vegetarian. Lived life in Newport Beach where to be anorexic is a compliment, not a disease. Mm -hmm. And um, one day I started noticing I was having anxiety attacks a lot of depression and it was out of my nature because I was very healthy happy love life and I went from a size 2 to a size 4 within a few days mm -hmm. so I went to a physician and she said well your hormones are out of whack and you're um, you're in a depression and you know who would I, I trusted this doctor you know mm -hmm. and um, so she put me on antidepressants and from then I went to a size 6 rapidly within a few days. Now you notice, are you eating anything different? You're, you're, you're consuming more? Were you, did you have a more voracious appetite? What? No, in fact I felt nauseous most of the time because when you're, um, what would happen is I was so nervous, the anxiety got so bad that I felt like I could throw up at any time. Mm -hmm. So I ate less and worked out harder and the weight would come on more. In four days I gained 11 pounds. And um, the doctor, first, I went to another doctor and he said, well, you know, by now I'm a size six, but that's not huge by any means. And mm -hmm. he said, well, you were too thin. Well, then shortly I was a size eight. And then he says, well, you're not bad. <laughs> what happened? To you? You're too thin. Then you're size, <laughs> wait, then you're size 14. And he said, uh, yeah, you're over, he said, you're obese. But how long did it take you to become a size 14? Um, within about six to eight months, I was already a 14 okay. after I started gaining weight. Then when I was a size 22, even, I got up to 227 pounds. I was started off at 200 or 120 pounds, and I got to 227 at my biggest. And that took how long? Um, it was a year. One year. So now you're going to say doctors, and they're still giving you the song and dance where you're just eating too much, and there's your depression. You're probably eating at night. You need to stop that. They're saying all this stuff. Who finally said we need to check you out and see what's going on? Well, funny, um, I fought every doctor. I went in and I would say, they'd say, well, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's all in your head. Women your age, I was only 31. I mean, everything was, um, you're a hypochondriac. You, um, you know, obviously you probably eat more than you think. My trainer w wanted to go in with me, so there's no way someone can work out this hard and gain the weight you're gaining. And most of it was in my stomach where it looked like I was having twins. Mm -hmm. And I had a thing underneath my face where my, you know, fat had started to grow. And um, so finally, I, I knew the symptoms were getting much worse. So I went on the Internet. Um, it was seven long years that I fought doctor, doctor, doctor. At seven years? Seven years. At that weight, 220. Trying mm -hmm. your best to figure it out. And you I had knee you, surgeries from everything. Wait, hold that thought. We'll be back right after this. go up on the internet and you find out what I went I searched all my medical records because I knew doc, it was going to not be a doctor to help me at this point I had fought too hard and I searched in my medical records and I the one common denominator was a hormone called cortisol and I um, that was always elevated and when I'd ask the doctors what does high cortisol do to you they said, well it can't cause all those you know these problems well, unfortunately, it was the high cortisol. I put in cortisol into the computer, and up came a, um, Cushing's disease. And Cushing's disease was it stems from a pituitary tumor, which is in the your pituitary centered in the uh, front part of your brain, um, in between your two optic nerves. And the one thing they had never checked was my pituitary gland. First time they went in and did an MRI, it came back negative. Correct. So then you had to go see a specialist who did it again, and what did they find out? It was still negative. Um, the type of tumor I had in the pituitary is a microadenoma, but it raises havoc on your hormones. It produces a hormone called um, ACTH, your adrenaline cortisotropin hormone, and that triggers your adrenal glands to produce your life-sustaining hormone cortisol. And my cortisol levels were triple normal from this microadenoma not seen on an MRI. That's how small it is. So my surgeon is a specialist at UCLA. And they obviously went up through the roof of your mouth? No. No? No. The surgeon, um, he's one of the top in the world, Dr. Kelly. He goes transphenoidally through one of the sinuses back into the base of your brain. 
So I removed that. Within how many days did you start losing weight? Oh, right away. I think in the hospital, because your pituitary gland c controls your um, diuretic hormone, as well as all your other hormones. And so, I mean, within four hours, I think I lost like four pounds or something. But then they have to slow it down because it's dangerous also. But within uh, six months, I had lost 40 pounds. 40 pounds. And you've been still lying. I still lose now, but, you know, the weight was on for seven years. I'm 41 now. And uh, the weight doesn't come off as easy, but that's not my point anymore. My point is I was sick when I gained the weight and doctors were missing it. Now that I'm well, I can work out and be healthy and happy. And I know that I can eat right and I will lose the weight. There you go. Have to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Well, we're out of time, so I want to thank all of our guests for being here. And but before we go, Sherman, you've made a comment about you know you lived a life for the longest time, size two, really fighting that battle about weight and right. being very very image conscious. But now you've learned something, have you not? Absolutely. And what's that? Well, the most important thing to me is to be healthy and happy, and to live your life every day, one day at a time, because you never know what, how it could be the next day. Without a doubt, I, and I say this only because we have a lot of high school students in this in this room, and a lot of you I know right now is probably the worst time of your life when it comes to body image and what other people think about you. But the truth of the matter is, it really doesn't matter what that number is on a scale. It's just about how healthy you are. Keep that in the back of your mind. Let's thank all of our guests. Truly, show about miracles. You are a miracle. Thanks so much for joining us on the next one. Time.